Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Dan the Fix-It Man. I've got another quick video here for you. I'm going to show you how to change your front brake pads and your front brake rotors on a 2014 Chevy Tahoe. Uh, this is the LT version and it's also a four-wheel drive. Now the first thing you need to do is compress the caliper pistons. Uh, and you can do that a couple different ways. Uh, you could put a large C-clamp here and on the pad here and, and that will work. Uh, or there's a, a little tool that's threaded, a brake caliper compression tool. Uh, sometimes I'll just use a large screwdriver. If you can come over here to the this little opening or window in the side of the caliper, notice there are two. And in this case there are two pistons in this caliper. But what you're doing is wedging between the pad and the basically this body or this caliper body and just pull that towards you and you'll see the piston will actually slide back in. It's a good idea to uh, pop the hood, take a look at the master cylinder reservoir and make sure that you're not uh, spilling that brake fluid everywhere. But uh, I've already looked and uh, this particular reservoir was low and so we're just pushing our fluid backwards up through the up through the system into that reservoir. Now you can see that there's lots of room and uh, there's a lot of play and movement here in the caliper because uh, we've pushed those pistons back in. Now the next thing we need to do is uh, loosen and remove these caliper installation bolts and that's a, a 19 millimeter Sometimes this slide pin that it goes into will spin and you may need to get a, a 19 millimeter open end wrench on that. Uh, same thing with that top bolt. You can just loosen and remove that. And we can set those bolts aside. Okay, with the caliper bolts out of the way, we can lift this up and just carefully set that up on the upper control arm in a, in a way where it's not going to fall. And we can pull out the old brake pads. Now these are side specific. Just take note that this one here with the flat spot on the bottom goes in the back. And obviously you can see these are uh, completely worn down so we've got some new ones and we're going to change the rotors as well uh, the other side went metal to metal and uh, just to keep things balanced we're just going to go ahead and replace both of them uh, now before we can take the the rotor off we need to take off this caliper bracket and that's held in place with uh, two large bolts um, there's loctite on here so you may need a large breaker bar uh, to, to bust those loose but those are an 18 millimeter Same with the top one here to break it loose. I'm just using a large breaker bar. Now it's a good idea to keep one hand on the caliper bracket as you're loosening this before you pull the bolt out completely. Otherwise it will, it will fall. Okay, and so we can take that off, set that aside. Now before we can take this rotor off, you can actually see that it's, uh, it's held in place by this one little bolt here, and that's a T30 Torx bit. And we can break that loose, take it out. And then we can pull off the old rotor. When you put on the new rotor, just make sure you line up this little tapered hole with that, uh, with the threads on the hub there, where that attaches for that little, that little bolt, 
This actually has three different options for positioning that, but uh, this one lines up just fine. And then we can just put that bolt back in. Again, that's a T30 Torx bit. And we'll make that pretty snug. That'll keep that rotor on there solid. Okay, now we can put the caliper support bracket back on. And you just kind of hold that while you line those up. And uh, these do have, they've got this uh, yellow Loctite. There's still quite a bit on here. Now these have got Loctite on them, the yellow Loctite. And again, these are pretty tight. I'm gonna look up the specs and I'll put that, uh, I'll put the torque spec in the description. Uh, now we can put the new brake pads on. Um, I'm just putting a little bit of this Silglide brake grease or brake lube on the back of the shim here. I'm also gonna put a little bit at the ends, these little metal tabs or ears of the pad. I already put a little bit here on the uh, these metal retaining clips, and that uh, that'll help things move around properly. And this stuff also keeps seems to keep some of the noise down. Now, same thing on this uh, outboard pad. Just a just a little bit of this brake grease. This is a Silglide brand. Seems to really quiet things down and uh, we'll put some here on the ends as well. Just enough to allow that pad to move freely. And you can set those in. Now I went to put the caliper back down and uh, these, these caliper pistons aren't quite uh, pushed back in far enough uh, to fit with the new rotor and the new pads. So I'm going to just grab an old pad and set it right there and use the C-clamp method in addition to the screwdriver method. Again, I've got that little, I've got this little brake caliper compression tool and I can't find it. Probably have to go pick up another one, but uh, I'll put a link to the tool I'm talking about in the description or into a, a link to my website with another link there, but uh, I'm just going to kind of alternate between the two pistons here until we can get those pressed farther in enough to make some room. And we're just about there. And this method, this method works just fine. Okay. Now you can see these are far enough in, just getting rid of a little bit of that flex of rust there from the old pad. Okay, and now we can put the caliper back on and just kind of pull those slide pins in a little bit if needed. Now it's a good idea to pull those slide pins out and grease them up but uh, I which I did I just pulled them out and they're they're still nice and clean and there's plenty of grease in there so we're just gonna leave them And again, on these caliper bolts, just get those nice and tight into those slide pins. Uh, but I will look up the uh, torque spec for that and put it in the description. 
Uh, last thing, since we did put on new rotors, I like to hit these with some, some brake clean before putting, putting the wheel back on. And just try not to get too much of that uh, brake clean on your pads or anything like that. But uh, that's pretty much everything. Just make sure before you uh, drive off, torque everything to spec and uh, go ahead and step on the brake pedal a couple times to push those caliper pistons back out where they need to be. I will put a, uh, a link to my website in the description as well, uh, along with some product links um, for that sail glide and a few of the tools that I used. But uh, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and good luck.